Sending police investigating a series of break-ins at several Forest Ranch businesses, including a coffee shop and a Mexican food restaurant. Authorities are hoping surveillance images will lead them to the suspect. Our Tony Shin joins us live from Forest Ranch with the latest developments. Tony, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Phil and Christina. I want to show you something. Take a look behind me. You could see one of the businesses that was targeted. In fact, it's one of three businesses that were hit early this morning, possibly by the same burglar. Using a sledgehammer to smash a glass door, a burglar quickly enters Ponce's Mexican restaurant and 4S Ranch. It happened at around 3.40 Friday morning. The owner says the thief ran through the business and grabbed several bags from a back office filled with an undisclosed amount of money before getting away. We're actually thinking that maybe they took like a sledgehammer or something because it was a lot of glass. Just a half an hour earlier and a few blocks away, the co-founder of Mostra Coffee believes the same burglar also broke into her business. Every single cabinet you see here was opened and rummaged through and things were dumped out. Jalyn Malone calls the burglar bold for also smashing the glass door at the Jamba Juice a few yards away. Breaking into multiple locations in one shopping center. I mean, these alarms are going off. You just feel targeted in these kinds of situations. And it is really, really sad that people would take advantage of people this way. It's unclear if the same burglar also targeted this yogurt heaven and Santana's restaurant last week on Scripps Poway Parkway. But employees confirm that surveillance videos show a thief using a sledgehammer to break the glass doors. Jalen says this type of crime isn't just costly, it's also disheartening. It's a lot of work to run a business, to keep it operating, to make sure that everything's taken care of, to provide people with the best opportunities. And I know that's what other small businesses and business owners are feeling too. In her case, the burglar was able to steal the cash register, which had a few hundred dollars in it. They went through anything and everything they could possibly get their hands on to try to find something to take from us. Jalyn has this warning for other small business owners, especially with the holidays just around the corner. Do not leave any cash in your store. Make sure that all of your security cameras, your security alarms are all working properly and making sure that there's just nothing in visible sight that anyone feels like they can steal. Now, if you have any information about these crimes, call San Diego police. Investigators would like to hear from you. Reporting live in Forest Ranch, I'm Tony Shin. Phil and Christina will send it back to you. Tony, thank you for that.